Exercise 12. This one looks a little daunting because we've got a whole bunch of weird stuff in here that we're not used to seeing, but let's give it a go. Anyway, so you'll see that Fallen did this shortcut. He wrote j equals 1 and 2 so that he didn't have to write this thing or this thing or this thing twice. So, you know, he's really saving a whole bunch of space here. He didn't have, to, there's a whole one, two, three, four, five, six things they didn't have to write twice. So, I mean, whatever you have to do to make your textbook shorter. Anyways here, so let's do this problem. First, I claim that if new one, actually, you know what, let's just call it mu j is mutually singular with respect to mu j for j equals 1 to 2. I mean, we've already done this, so we might as well stick with this. Then, this thing is mutually singular with respect to this. I mean, of course, I could have also written i equals 1 to 2 new i mutually singular to i equals 1 to 2 mu i, but I mean, you know, whatever, whatever you prefer. So let E be an M, which we will define to be, okay, no, I'm, I'm going to stop, okay, M, M1, uh, product M2, and suppose that mu1, mu2, this measure is equal to zero, i.e. Now if you recall the definition, um, back in chapter two, what this means is this is mu1 ey d mu2 y is equal to zero. And this is over wherever at y lives. y mu2 mu2 x2 x2. Okay, so now let g equal y and x2 such that mu1 ey equals zero and b equals y such that mu1 of ey is not equal to zero. So g is good and b is bad. Then mu2 of b is equal to zero. So nu2 of b is equal to zero. And this follow this here follows the second part by absolute continuity. So then new one tensor new two of E. Again this is equal to integral of new one E Y D new two y. I think this is technically theorem 2.36. Whatever, it's back there in chapter two if you need to go back and look at it. And then we just break this up into the good and the bad parts. Integral over g plus integral over b. That's a horrible y. And then this is just, well, here, let's write it on this side. So we know new 2 of b is 0, so this whole thing is going to be 0. And what about this? Well, let's look at new 1 of e to the y. That's going to be, what do we know about that? That's basically just going to be equal to 0. And so this whole thing is going to be equal to zero. Thus, new one tensor new two 
is absolutely continuous with respect to mu1 tensor mu2. So that finishes the first part. I'm going to fit the second part here. Um, maybe. So next, um, let d nu1 equal g1 d mu1 and d nu2 equal g2 d mu2 by Radon Nicodem. Now define g x y equal g1 x g2 y. Then by Tonelli we have let's look at new one tensor new two e again. This is equal to roll of new one e y d new two y and here we're using Tonelli to write this out as e to the y x d new one x d new two y and then see I really want to fit this all so let's do double integral the indicator of e of x y that's just a rewriting re d new two y then this is equal to if we replace the news with the mu's y d mu1 x d mu2 y I'm definitely not going to fit this on here so this is equal to indicator of e x y g x y d mu well I could have fit that on the previous line but whatever d mu2 y and so basically what this means is that if you look at the definitions then this implies this and so basically with this computation we're done with the exercise.